Yeah, I take I tied safety in with quality. I didn't bring up uh, uh, productivity at first uh, because I mean you can have a high productivity rate, and I've said this before. Uh, you know, you can have a quota of, of producing you know ten thousand items you know in a week, and you hit that quota. Actually, you pass it. You produce twenty thousand items in a week. But they're all garbage. So the quality has to come first. And I know that that the construction field has has had a backwards mindset for a lot of years, where it's like, you know, uh, production first. You know, production first because that's what makes money. However, people have learned, you know, by failure, they learn by mistakes. When they focus uh, on uh, production primarily, you know, then you're leaving room for error in quality. You're leaving room for error in safety. And what does that do? It causes rework. It causes accidents. It causes incidents. And it costs you money. So uh, and put it in a way to where I tied quality and safety in together to be the end product. That in itself will raise productivity. And once we were able to show that, like, look, we focus on good quality. We focus on being safe. Everything runs smoother. Productivity rises on its own. But again, this took years of implementation and data gathering. And, mm -hmm. and once I put that together, it took me like two years to put all that together. And once I had it in one pot and I showed it, and I was like, look, here's the proof. It was just like, we're not just, uh, it's not just costing money to keep us. With, and we're not falling plateau, but now we come to a point where safety is making money. You know, yeah. safety is making money. And once I put it in those words, it was sold. It was sold very easy.